Hey, hi, Ayurveda Everyday with Talia. I'm Talia Lutzker, a certified Ayurveda practitioner, and so excited to be here with you for day one of the Detox Your Body with Ayurveda Boot Camp. It's our very first day of this awesome five-day event. So welcome. I'm so happy that you're here, and um, thank you so much for being here. So I've got some notes here so that I don't forget anything because I've got a lot I want to share with you today in day one of our boot camp. And um, feel free to comment and ask questions. Um, show some hearts and some likes. I love those. <laughs> and um, I will answer all of your questions in our Facebook group this week. And if you're watching the recording um, after the live stream, you can ask questions too. If you don't want to ask questions in our Facebook group, you can just email me your questions. And I'm going to be just so excited to um, be engaging with all of you all week long. Hi. So here's how the Detox Your Body with Ayurveda Boot Camp will go. Okay, so each day, hi Amy. So each day we're going to dive into a different element of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is based in five elemental theory five element theory, ether, air, fire, water, and earth. So each day of the boot camp is a deep dive into one of those elements. Today's deep dive is into the element ether. Um, and every single thing that I teach you throughout the boot camp, every single thing, the intention is so that by the end of this week, and I do hope you stick with me through the entire week because it's just going to get better and better and better, I, I swear. <laughs> um, it's all to help you experience a greater level of radiance, vitality, and energy. So that's my intention. And, you know, this the boot camp is only five days. Um, it's These live streams are going to be about 30 minutes. I'm going to try to keep them to 30 minutes. And then your homework each day, your action step that helps you drive the lesson into your own body, mind, soul is about 10 or 15 minutes. It depends on the day. Um, hey, everybody. Thanks for saying hi and jumping in. Um, but uh, I would say that if you could carve out anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour per day for the boot camp, you will be like the star student. And if you only have 30 minutes, watch the live stream and then, you know, figure out in your day when you can do one of the action steps. They're so, um, they're so simple, um, but so effective. So I know you'll be able to make room for them in your day. Um, and yeah, and, and you'll, you will have a lot of questions come up for you throughout the boot camp. So ask in the group. That's what this group is here for, is to support you and um, really for us to build this amazing community of Ayurveda enthusiasts. And so here's a few tips to help you make the most out of your boot camp week. Show up every day and participate. So that means watching the daily video, doing the action step that I give you each day, and carving out the space in your calendar. Um, really make this a sacred week of learning because this will be so valuable for you. Um, number two, make this community yours. Show, so share and introduce yourself. Um, and yeah, share whatever you want to share in the group. Um, invite your friends and your family. Ayurveda is becoming really popular these days um, because people are really getting clued into the limitations of what Western medicine can offer, and also what fad diets can do for you. Because a fad diet is really, I think that part of what, oh, I want to get rid of that. Part of what, why fad diets are called fad diets is they work for a certain amount of time, and that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to help you for a limited amount of time, not forever and ever. Although, of course, I'm generalizing, and it depends on, you and what you're approaching but what i love about ayurveda is it can be it can be imprinted onto any diet any lifestyle that you're already keeping ayurveda helps you enhance it and make it even more amazingly effective for you specifically you i know my we got new internet at my house well last week and 
I was hoping it would be better. Let's see how it goes. Um, but Ayurveda is really about taking your own pulse and listening to and understanding what it means for your body, mind, spirit, energy. So I'm going to help you understand that this week. And be patient with yourself and trust the process of this boot camp. So I've really thought of, thought this through. I've designed it to be day by day, building on the day before. So you'll get the most out of it if you really do keep up with the day by day lessons. And then one more thing before I jump into today's lesson is that you'll notice that I have some uh, really cool products behind me and a cookbook as well. I'll get out of the way so you can see it all. Um, and so I am giving away a Detox Your Body with Ayurveda Self-Care Kit. And it's for you to win if you want to play to win it. Um, so I was thinking about what I would want if I was just getting started with Ayurveda or I was learning how to detox my body with Ayurveda. And that's how I created this kit. So since I'll be teaching you the pillars of detoxing your body with Ayurveda this week, um, this kit really encompasses it all. So you're going to get a signed copy of my Ayurvedic Vegan Kitchen Cookbook, um, a, a four ounce bottle of seasonal specific body oil. Hey, um, you're going to get a tridoshic digestive spice mix. Um, that you can put on everything you eat, anything that you eat. You'll get a, a copper tongue scraper, which is one of my favorite um, cleansing tools. If you uh, decide to do my rad cleanse, which is coming up later this fall, you'll hear me talk a lot about mouth health and how it translates to digestive health. Um, you get a 16 ounce of homemade ghee made by yours truly. Um, you get a bottle of Health Force Superfoods Vitamin Earth, which is my favorite grounding superfood to add to hot water and soups all fall and winter long. Um, you get a Vata reducing lip balm because we've just entered the fall season, which is the coldest, lightest, driest season of the year. So it is the Vata season. Um, you get a mini essential oil gift set a tub of my all-time favorite Ayurvedic breast balm, um, where I'm going to teach you all, not this week, but I will be teaching later this year, um, I'm hoping later this year, to teach a class on breast health because there's so much that Ayurveda teaches us we can do. This is mostly women in here. I know it's not only women, but um, and this is for men too, actually. Men need to look out for their breast health as well. Um, but, oh my God, taking care of your own breasts can be like oh, life-changing and such great preventative medicine. Um, you're also going to get some food-grade, really amazing high-level turmeric from um, this company I love called Anima Mundi and a bottle of my homemade nasi oil. So the Detox Your Body with Ayurveda Self-Care Kit is basically everything that you need for a 21 to 30-day detox. Um, plus, you know, amazing food. And it's valued at over $200. I think it's almost $225. So you could win this kit by the end of this week, by Friday. So here's how to play. And I tell you how to play in um, basically every morning in the email that you get from me are the rules for how to play this game. Um, but you just, it's a social media game, okay? So you have to follow me on Instagram. Ayurveda with Talia, um, share about the boot camp in Instagram and on Facebook using our hashtag Ayurveda boot camp. Um, that's all you have to do to get entered. But to win your face, your, your Instagram profile and your Facebook profile have to be public. Um, you have to post some pictures and videos, not only words that describe what you're getting out of the boot camp and then you double your chances so I'll enter you twice if you leave a positive review on Facebook um, about the boot camp again you have to use the hashtag Ayurveda boot camp um, but the person who does all these things and engages the most and is the most kind of supportive and encouraging inside of our Facebook group that is the person who's going to win so um, yeah Awesome. Yes, your breast could use some care. Yes. Mine, 
yeah. I'm really a healthy, healthy woman, and I'm so grateful for that. Ayurveda has made that possible for me and yoga and my own self-discipline. Um, but knowing how to take care of my breast health is beyond huge. So I really can't wait to teach you all that. But that's another course, not this week. <laughs> so I am so passionate about Ayurveda for so many reasons. But one of the most important reasons, and forgive me if I... Um, if I swear, okay, I may swear in this part of the boot camp, but I am so passionate because uh, it's like health is so, if, when you don't have health, you don't have it, you really don't have very much. I know there are people who are sick who have like amazing attitudes and they're so inspiring and I'm amazed by those people, but they're really the exception. And when you have amazing health, it's just so much easier to feel good about who you are and feel good in life. And it's, we only have this one life and it's precious. And so feeling good is so, so, so important that we learn how to cultivate that. So basically what I'm saying is my core belief is that you fucking matter and your health really, really, really matters. It matters for so many different reasons, just like the re the reason why the earth's health matters is for so many different reasons. It's the impact that we have on other people. It's the impact that, um, you know, having radiant health has on the way that you're able to express yourself and serve the world for your short time here. Um, and for me, it connects back to emotional health, having the energy for everything you really want to do in life. Um, you know, it to me, it really comes down to like health is love and everybody deserves to have health. So this boot camp is about teaching you a specific way to take care of yourself that is so empowering and um, I hope like really, really changes your life and the trajectory of your health from this moment forward. And the way that I came to create this boot camp, just to some of you are really new to me, so I just want to give you a little insight into where I'm coming from. Um, I found Ayurveda 18 years ago. I had gone to become a yoga teacher, and when I was at my yoga teacher training, I'd never heard of Ayurveda before. They told, they introduced it to us in our yoga teacher training, and I was like, okay, that seems interesting, but it didn't like it wasn't amazing to me or anything. But that same, um, it was a two-week training, inside of those same two weeks, I literally woke up one morning covered in psoriasis, which is an autoimmune disorder, an autoimmune disease that Western medicine will tell you, we don't know why it happens and there's no cure. Um, but I woke up one day covered. I mean, even on my face, my belly, my legs, my arms, my armpits, my groin, it was everywhere, my anus. I was so itchy. I was so scared because I just was like, what the fuck? Like, what just happened to me? Um, and, you know, it was um, interesting to have that happen in the middle of a yoga teacher training where I was taking the first step ever in my life at that point of really claiming my health as a priority. And then that happened. So I spent the next three months after that training looking for a holistic healthcare system where I could heal. I didn't care what I was going to find. I just wanted to heal. And what I ended up finding was my Ayurvedic practitioner, Deanna Batdorf, who runs the Deanna Center in Sebastopol, California. Um, she is still my teacher. She is still my practitioner. She's basically my sister at this point. And um, from following the steps that I'm going to teach you in this boot camp, within a week of practicing Ayurveda, I had more energy. Within six weeks of practicing the principles of Ayurveda, I lost 10 pounds that I had been carrying for over 10 years, frustrated, frustratedly carrying. Um, I started to get my, I got my first period regularly um, in over 10 years. I started getting my period regularly when I started practicing Ayurveda. Um, I was more flexible. I was happier. I mean, my life was completely transformed through the practices I'm teaching you this week in the boot camp. And um, yeah, and and 
over the years, you know, more and more things pop up, of course. And every time I go back to Ayurveda and I look at these five elements and I let them guide me into understanding what my body's asking me for so that I can heal. This has even happened with like my left knee um, being really stiff and tight and then thinking about like, okay, well, what's what's the knee represent in Ayurveda? Oh, it represents adrenals. It represents kidney where I'm getting the pain. Kidney and adrenals are about your fluidity, having enough vital fluids running through your body. So I started looking at my hydration in a different way. I started using Ayurvedic massage techniques to open up my kidneys and my adrenals. And guess what? No more left knee pain. So this is really profound science, what what we're about to embark on, and I hope you're really excited. So now I'm going to, I am diving into lesson one, okay, but I know I've got to do a little bit of background for today's lesson because some of you are really new to Ayurveda and I want to give you at least a little foundation of like what it is so that everything makes sense as we move forward. So if this is review for you, yay, because you cannot review Ayurveda enough times. I'm <laughs> telling you that from experience. So, hi Canada. So, Ayurveda is the Indian holistic healthcare system. It is, it is like I said before, it's rooted in the five elements of ether. So actually do this with your hand. Ether, air, fire, water, and earth. Oh, and you know what? Before I keep going, well, actually, let me finish this part. So, so ether, air, fire, water, earth. And we're going to talk about these, the five fingers of how they relate. Because when you follow the fingers up your arms towards your shoulders, your chest, wherever, wherever they go, you are following one of the meridians, an organ meridian. And so when we, we're going to start today with ether, which is your thumb. Um, and, you know, we do the thumbs up like, hey, that's awesome. And thumb actually represents, and ether represents unconditional love. So just note to self, I'm going to come back to that in a second. But I want to backtrack just for a moment. I would love to hear what brought you to this boot camp. I know a lot of you have already shared that with me in the group, but if you haven't, comment underneath our live stream video today of what brought you to the boot or uh, to the boot camp or what brought you from to Ayurveda. For me it was psoriasis and being like I what is this? What's wrong with me? How can I heal this naturally? And also, you know that I was I was an uncomfortable weight. I wasn't like super heavy, but I was very uncomfortable in my body, especially compared to now where 95% of the time I feel totally confident and really great in my body. And with that other 5%, it's like that's when I've got to do really up my discipline, up my discipline with my Ayurvedic practices. But what, what brought you here? I'm really curious to know and would love for you to share in the comments. So, Back to what Ayurveda is, okay? Now, there's different pillars of Ayurvedic medicine, different pillars of how we approach healing. The number one pillar and the one that's going to be the most important pillar we, we think about, talk about, and practice this week is self-awareness. Self-awareness is everything because if you're not awake enough to notice your body giving you symptoms, you can't respond in an intelligent, loving, healing way. You just can't because you're not even aware that your body's trying to give you some signals that something needs to change. So self-awareness is the number one key. After that, self-awareness, then we start to use food and nutrition. And that's why food and diet is such a big part of Ayurvedic medicine. It's what we do all day, every day to heal, to shift what's going on for us physically, emotionally, mentally, psychically, psychically, we can use food and nutrition to make that shift. That's why my business name used to be called Talia's Kitchen because I was just only about the food and always cooking and always teaching cooking classes and creating new recipes. Now I call my business Ayurveda every day with Talia because I'm Ayurveda is more than food. Um, but I'm really so grateful that I started there because it is so foundational and it is something I'm going to be teaching you about 
this week, especially in day five. Um, so stick with me till the end of the boot camp. Um, and after food and nutrition, that's when we go into herbs and supplements and body care. Those are not the first things we go to, actually. So I'll, I'll get to all this as we move through the boot camp. And I love that you're posting your comments underneath the video. I will take a look after this live stream and get back to all of you and, um, and see your responses. So yay. So Ayurveda is really about learning how to take your own pulse. Your pulse in Ayurveda is called your blood song. It's the, it's really, it's your own body's natural rhythms and it's affected by the external environment, by stress, by what you're eating, by how you're living, by how you're thinking. And so as we go through the Ayurveda boot camp this week, and as we apply Ayurveda to our lives in general, we're slowly, methodically cleaning up all the areas that we can so that we're more and more and more in alignment with our own, with our body's own natural rhythms that for us are the, it's basically the equivalent of the best version of yourself that you can be. I actually heard somebody on Instagram recently kind of say something like, that's not what Ayurveda is about. Ayurveda is not about being the best version of your dosha, your your constitution that you can be. And, you know, I say that a lot though because that's how it's made sense for me was understanding my constitution and then understanding what that looks like for me when I'm in my optimal health. So I do think that that's a really important piece of learning how to apply Ayurveda to your own life. And I'm going to be teaching you about that this week for sure. And of course, beyond in my other courses. Um, but the doshas, if you've heard the word dosha, dosha is the language of Ayurveda. So dosha basically means that energetic force, and the energetic forces are coming from the five elements, that most easily go out of balance. So there's vata, which is comprised of air and ether. There's pitta, which is made up of fire and water. And there's kapha, which is made up of water and earth. Those are the three doshas. You cannot be alive and not be all three. But what's most likely is that you have a predominance, just like I do. I'm predominantly vata, and I'm secondarily kapha, which means... If you read my pulse and you knew how to read my birth pulse, my core constitution, that's what you would find on my birth pulse. I also have low fire on my birth pulse. So one of my jobs in healing my own body with Ayurveda, so I'm saying this so that you can relate this back to yourself, has been what does healthy vata kapha look like for me and how do I bring my fire up so that it's healthy fire? And that's been a huge part of my Ayurvedic journey, if not the biggest part of my Ayurvedic journey, is how do I create healthy fire? Because psoriasis, just to go back to that, is unhealthy fire. It's fire that's just stuck in a tissue where it doesn't belong and has nowhere to go, has no way to express itself, so it's expressing itself through a channel where it doesn't belong and it's causing harm. So it's up to us to learn how to have healthy expression of these doshas and that's part of what we learn how to do when we learn the five elements. So now I want to say something really quickly about doshas because I get this question all the time. So listen to this, okay? Now, I'm not giving you a dosha test at the start of this boot camp because this is not the nourish your body with Ayurveda boot camp. This is the detox your body with Ayurveda boot camp. And you do not need to know your dosha to do this week's boot camp. You do, repeat after me, you do not need to know your dosha for this week's boot camp. Okay, I, this week's boot camp is just about you listening and learning how to read your own pulse by having self-awareness, asking yourself, how do I feel? What do I need? And we're going to get into real detail into that on day three. <laughs> okay, but for now, you don't need to know it. And number two, you may have taken a dosha quiz and feel really confused because maybe you've taken like 10 quizzes and you always come out with a different answer. That's normal. And what I want to say to you about that is Ayurveda is an incredibly vast medical science. So if you're not an Ayurvedic practitioner and if you have not yet studied Ayurveda intensely for, I would say, at least two years, I don't 
just don't expect yourself to be able to understand how these dosha quizzes work and, you know, quote unquote, get it right. It's not about getting it right. It's about asking the right questions and answering the questions from the perspective from which they were meant to be answered. I know it's kind of complicated, um, but you want to know your core constitution because your present imbalances are always changing. I mean, two weeks ago, I was like so exhausted and so burned out um, for a lot of reasons that I'm not going to go into. And so I did what I need to, needed to do using Ayurveda, using what I know from this science to reboot my energy, to restore myself. And I did it. So you, but that wasn't my, that wasn't my core constitution. That was my present imbalance that was exhausted. Okay. So that's that. And, um, I am going to be giving you a dosha quiz, my dosha quiz, which I've put a lot of time and effort into making as clear as I possibly can, including the way that you answer those questions, but I'm not going to give it to you until the end of this week. So wait until day five. Um, and, um, I've improved the quiz actually from how it used to be. So you might find one in our Facebook group, but the one on day five will be new and improved. So um, wait for that and you can figure that out on day five, okay? So let's talk about a little bit briefly about what makes Ayurveda detox, an Ayurveda detox different from say fasting or a juice detox or um, you know anything else. So, you know, Ayurveda is very straightforward. It's very much like a common sense science, again, rooted in the five elements. Um, and its approach to healing is very intelligent and very straightforward, very hands-on. So one thing I want to make clear is this is a great time of year to detox. Spring and fall are the most ideal times of year to detox your body because it's already what's happening in nature. Nature is inviting this. Um, and so it's like ride the wave of nature when we're aligned with nature, we're, our, we're so much healthier. Um, so that's part of why I'm doing this boot camp right now at this time of year. That being said, any time of year, just because you're feeling crappy doesn't necessarily mean you need to detox. Detox implies you will be cleansing your body. And cleansing is a drying, stripping, cooling practice, okay? So what makes Ayurveda detoxes different is they are nourishing and they are meeting you where you are. This is so, so huge. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's not like, okay, everybody just drink green juices for three days. I mean, you would feel lighter and you would give your digestive system a break. I don't... I actually love juice cleanses. I love fasting. I love all this kinds of stuff. But there's a right way to do it for your body, mind, and spirit. And I feel that Ayurveda guides you towards that the, the most and the best. So it helps you distinguish when what you need is to detox versus when you need to nourish. And the great news is that you can do both at the same time with an Ayurveda detox. So it's a very thoughtful approach that takes you and your unique constitution as well as your current imbalances into consideration. It always takes a seasonal approach that's really important with Ayurveda. It's a cyclical approach, a rhythmic approach, and it's a nourishing approach. So Ayurveda, what I love about the, the detoxes and why I lead seasonal Ayurvedic cleanse programs, you'll learn more about it. Um, as our week goes on, but I teach a course called the RAD Cleanse, which stands for Radiance Ayurveda Detox. And the reason why I'm so passionate about that course, I've been teaching it for over 10 years, is it gives you like a powerful, powerful detox that really is like, I feel amazing. But it also helps you create change that is sustainable. And that's another thing that differentiates an Ayurvedic cleanse or an Ayurveda detox from a regular detox where the results are really usually temporary. Okay, so we're going to we're going to get to like a cellular level with the Ayurveda detox that is sustainable. So, I'm just curious when you hear the word detox or you think of fasting or cleansing, um what comes to mind for you? 
So tell me in the in the comments because I think most people, no, I'm going to give you some answers, but I think most people think detox, they think, okay, fasting or juicing or being deprived of food, feeling hungry. Um, and, you know, and there are people who can really get obsessed with detoxing, kind of similar to um, if any of you have ever had an eating disorder, I totally have. Um, a not or I wasn't anorexic because I love food too much, but I was bulimic for uh, a handful of years. And, um, you know, just like any sort of eating disorder, people can really latch on to detox, like always thinking like, I need to detox, I need to detox, it must be that I need to detox. It's like, so one thing I love about Ayurveda is it teaches you, yes, sometimes you do need to detox. And it's one of the most powerful disease prevention tools available to you in the on the planet. And you also need to nourish your body and you also need to know how to do that. So when you detox your body with Ayurveda, you simultaneously learn how to nourish your body with Ayurveda. So you will notice in your email that I sent you this morning, um, if you haven't already checked it out, that your action step for today is two parts. One is a meditation. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. And I am going over 30 minutes today. I'm so sorry, but I'm almost done here. Um, but you've got a meditation and that's really important that you listen to that today because today's lesson is about creating the space. Ether is another word for space or gas. It's one of the primary elements that makes up the dosha vata. Vata. <laughs> vata. <laughs> Ether and air. Okay. Um, nothing in nature can exist without space. So if you think about what, you know, one thing that Ayurveda says is in the app, in the very beginning, there was absolute stillness, right? So in the very beginning of the universe, like as the universe was before anything was created, there was just stillness and that stillness is space. And the first thing that came into being, according to Ayurveda, was the element of ether through sound, through that, right, that guttural um, sound of om. If you practice yoga, you've heard om, om. Um, that would be another great action step for you to do today is just to chant om a few times when you're alone in your car, in your shower, just sitting at home in your meditation practice um, because that is the sound of creation and that does represent the element ether. Um, remember, ether also represents thumb and unconditional love. So this, this nothing can be created without ether, without space. And we want to spend day one being like, yeah, okay, I want to do this. I want to learn about Ayurveda. I want to apply it to my life. I want to understand how this can work for me. And I want to detox and nourish my body with Ayurveda. So first thing we have to do is create the space. Even your cells, even each individual cell of the trillions of cells that you have in your body, if you look at it microscopically, I mean like so, so tiny, even every individual cell in your body is encased in a ring of space. It's It surrounds everything that is alive. So that's why your action step today is really important because the meditation is all about reminding you to create space. And I am right now studying with this amazing woman, Lisa Romano. She's blowing my mind. Um, she's like my new, you know, kind of spiritual, emotional health guru. And one of the mantras that she gives to me and to everybody that I'm studying with alongside of with um, is you are enough. And th so that's one of your mantras in... Um, the meditation that I created for you for day one. And where I want you to kind of soak that in is, you know, when you say you are enough, it really is saying I matter. And you will not get through an Ayurveda detox boot camp or an Ayurvedic cleanse or anything that has to do with Ayurveda if you can't first create the space for yourself to make it matter. So that's why that is our theme for day one is that you matter and your health matters and why it's so important to me that you listen to the meditation. So I created it so that it's a meditation you could fall asleep to. 
you could listen to it while you're driving. It's not like going to put you into a hypnotic state. So it's going to be safe if you're operating heavy machinery, <laughs> you can use it then. Um, but please, please, please make sure that you listen to that meditation today. And then if you want to take the homework even further, the action step even further, um, I did also create some journaling prompts for you that are like a bonus for today. Um, but that will help kind of drive your why, why you're here, um, deeper into your own psyche, which will strengthen your resolve for, you know, making the most out of this boot camp and getting as much out of this week as you can. So one last thing I want to say about creating the space, it means slowing down. It means making yourself a priority. Um, it means loving yourself unconditionally. And if you're like me, you know, if somebody just says that to you, that's not like, that's just, oh, well, that's just easy, right? But I want you to just try to let it soak in that you matter, that you matter. And if that brings tears to your eyes, good. Then cry, cry about it because maybe nobody's ever told you that you matter or maybe you haven't remembered that you matter in so long that now that somebody's saying it to you, you're just like, oh my God, I forgot, you know? So whatever emotions come up today, they are the right emotions and let them come up and just be with them and be with yourself in unconditional love. Um, a lot of you are here because you're, you want more energy and I, I need to complete our lesson one today by just saying, you know, modern demands on your energy are so unrealistic and so out of hand, right? It's just this is out of control, like how much there is to keep up with and travel and all these things that really are um, exacerbating the vata dosha, which we're going to go into more detail about tomorrow. But ether is part, uh, ether with air make up the vata dosha. And when vata is running on empty or vata is pushed to the brink, meaning it's pushed to like its capacity of course you're going to feel exhausted and you're going to feel tired. And our whole culture right now is running on this idea that like you should have energy for everything and it's just unrealistic. And most of us ha have some vata imbalance and that's why we're so exhausted and tired and frustrated and, you know, having our temper be so short um, there, there's so much there. So we're going to go really deep into that tomorrow in day two. So definitely come back for tomorrow's lesson. And um, yeah, we're going to go into some great detail about that tomorrow. And so for today, your job is just to slow down enough to listen to today's meditation, do the journaling if you want to, and share what you're getting, what you got out of today in our Facebook group. Um, because when you understand, when you really do understand, I want to read this to you, why you feel the way that you do, then you start to get like there's something that you can do about it. And that's what we're all about this week. And it really, we're about creating the space for possibility of how amazing you can feel today. That's what day one is about. So your meditation practice is your sadhana, your sacred practice for the day. Um, and Congratulations, boot camper. You just completed day one. So, woohoo! I will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same channel, 10 a.m. Pacific, Tuesday morning. Can't wait. Thank you. See you soon.